Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at triple integrals over rectangular boxes. So we did double integrals over uh, rectangles in a previous video, and we carefully constructed them via Riemann sums. And you could do the exact same thing with uh, triple integrals over rectangular boxes, but I'll let you look up in your textbook or whatever other resource uh, you're looking at for that because it's essentially the same kind of thing. And it all boils down to taking a bunch of integrals in a row. Okay, so let's say we've got this rectangular box, um, A comma B cross C comma D cross E comma F. So what I mean by that is you've got this box, the smallest X value is A, the largest X value is B, smallest Y value is C, largest Y value is C, smallest Z value is E, largest Z value is F. And I know I'm like using E not to mean uh, the natural logarithm base, but just to mean some constant. And I'm reusing this letter F to mean the largest Z value and for our function. So it's a bit sloppy, but I think it's okay in this context. So this triple integral over this box with this differential volume component is given by this iterated integral. So we've got an integral from A to B, C to D, E to F, and then in this order, the dx dy dz. And you can actually reorder this any way you want, and there are gonna be six different reorderings. So just think about it this way. There are three choices for the innermost integral, and then after you've made that choice, there are two choices for the middle integral, and then after you've made that choice, there's only a single choice for the outer integral. Integral. So it's three times two times one choices, so six total choices. So I'm not gonna write them all down because it's essentially the same except for just changing dx with dy and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and look at a basic example. So we'll take this integral zero to one, two to four, negative one to five of our function um, x plus y squared, sorry, x plus y z squared dx dy dz. So that means we need to take the integral with respect to x first. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just bring down this double integral. So the integral zero to one, two to four. Now we need to take the antiderivative of this thing with respect to x. So let's see, with respect to x, x is going to become x squared over two, and now y z squared is a constant with respect to x, so that's going to become x y z squared. Now we're going to evaluate that from x equals negative one up to x equals five. Okay, now that is all still inside this double integral dy dx. Okay, so let's see what we get for that. This is going to be the integral from zero to one, the integral from two to four. If we plug five into this, we'll get 25 over two plus five y z squared minus, if we plug negative one into this, we'll get a half minus y z squared. And then we have this is dy d, this should be z. Z. Okay, good. But now that simplifies a bit, so that's going to simplify to the integral from zero to one, two to four, and now notice we have 25 over two minus one over two, so that'll be 24 over two, which is the same thing as 12. And then we have five yz squared minus a negative yz squared, so that'll be plus six yz squared. And now we have dy dz. Okay, so I'll clean up the board and I'll bring this up to the top so we can move on to the next step. Okay, so on the last board we did our inner x integral and we reduce this triple integral to a double integral over a rectangular region. So uh, let's continue on. So notice our inner integral at this point is a y integral. So we need to take the antiderivative of all of this stuff with respect to y. So notice we still have a z integral on the outside which is from zero to one. And then with respect to y that's going to give us 12y plus, let's see, that's gonna be three y squared z squared. And now we need to evaluate that from two to four. And just to remind ourselves that's y equals two to y equals four. 
And then this is all inside a DZ integral. Okay, so let's see what we get for this. This is the integral from zero to one of some stuff. All of this is inside a DZ integral. So if we plug four into this, we'll get 48 plus three times uh, four squared. So that's uh, three times 16. So I believe three times 16 is also 48. And then we have z squared. Great, and now we have to subtract what we get from plugging two in. So two times 12 is 24. And then three times uh, two squared, so that's three times four, which is 12 uh, z squared. All right, so we've got something like that. Now notice that this is going to be the integral from zero to one. Now we can combine like terms. So we have 48 minus 24, which is 24. And then we have, this is going to be 48 minus 12, so that's will be 36. So 36 z squared dz. Now we've got a nice end of calculus one integral. So that's going to be 24 z uh, plus, uh, let's see what it'll be, 12 z cubed. And now we need to evaluate that from zero to one. So evaluating at zero gives us zero, so we might as well just evaluate at one, which is super easy. That's 24 plus 12. So 36 is the final answer.